Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game and then check. Next step is to disconnect the controller before you launch the game. And then once you disconnect the controller, now launch the game. And if you, if you want to use the controller, then you can use the controller after you launch the game and then check. Next step is to change the Windows display scale to 125 or 100%. So now for this open Windows settings and then go to system and then go to display. Now over here you can see scale. Now over here you can select 125 or you can even select 100 and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, apply, ok, make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, again go to properties and this time put a check over here, select windows 8 over here and then apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time select windows 7 and then apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check on disable full screen optimization and then apply click on ok launch the game now if that does not work this time click on change high dpi settings and then put a check over here and select application over here and then click on ok apply ok make a double click launch the game now still not working in that case you can uncheck all the boxes so when you check all these boxes if it's not working you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows setting if you have windows 11 go to privacy and security and then click on windows security now if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access now click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. And then open the Steam folder. And then open the Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Now open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Now click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings on the top allow another app browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now once you open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done now you can launch the game and then check next step is to Try these in launch options. So make a right click on the game, select properties over here, type in dash DX11. Now launch the game and then check if that does not work. Make a right click once again over here, type in dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check still not working. Then remove this, clear this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files now when you do this you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for if you agree then you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder 
now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data app data folder open the app data open the roaming folder open the game folder and you will see all the save game file over here so you have to go back and rename this folder so make a right click and then you can rename it whatever you want dot old i'll keep it and then launch the game now still not working in that case you can delete the save game file let me inform you you will lose all the game progress so you can make a right click on the game and then game folder the save game folder and then click on delete once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type for me it's geforce and then select the right product series select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search now scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.52 so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box put a check on custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver and after that restart your computer restart is a must and then launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now go click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder and then once you open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download this x86 and x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 so click on the exe file and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install now let the installation complete also download this x64 now run this exe file as well if you see the repair option you have to click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once both the installation are complete then you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3, that is 49152, 49152, 49152. Now click on set over here, then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer, make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So open your windows settings, go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug external devices from the computer, which you're not using. So if you have any additional controller connected, disconnected, if you have any kind of uh, wheel, hotas, any kind of devices connected, you can disconnect it. Also disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor, disable steam overlay. Now for this make a right click on the game, select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close other overlay application. So if you have any other overlay application like discord, you can close it. If you have GeForce experience, close it. So close all the overlay application and then check also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any other overlay application overclocking application close all the overclocking application and then launch the game also if you have any third party services or application running close it in task manager including all your browsers also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then Put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, if you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. But if you are able to launch the game, avoid using all tab and switch to window mode. Now for this, you can launch the game and then go to the settings. Now go to options. Now go to settings and over here, you go to video and you can switch to window mode. You can even try borderless or you can even try window mode. And then if the VSync is on, you can turn it off, apply the settings and then check the performance. Now the last step is to uninstall the game and reinstall the game. To uninstall the game, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to another drive, you can reinstall the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed in C drive, in that case, you can install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.